Hello and welcome, Game Theory, Game without Saddle Point and now we are going to take the case of finding value of the game without Saddle Point by the formula method. We are not going to use any algebraic method but we have formula to find out x that is the probability of a using strategy a1 and y that is probability of b using strategy b1 and value of game. This is possible in case of the 2 by 2 payoff table, a game with 2 by 2 payoff table. If a game is of larger size, we have to reduce it up to 2 by 2 by the method of dominance if it is possible. But this is quite easy as compared to the algebraic method. But every method has its own say limitation or special feature. In this method, you have to learn and remember the three formulas. Okay, what is the formula of x? Alpha 2, 2 minus alpha 2, 1. These four values are assigned the sign. Alpha 1, 1, that is row 1 and column 1. Alpha 1, 2, row 1, column 2. Points of addresses of point of intersection, like that. Alpha 2, 1, that is row 2, column 1. Alpha 2, 2, row 2, column 2. Now, we just need to use these four values only to find out all these three things. What is the formula of X that is probability of use of strategy A1 by A? Alpha 2, 2 minus alpha 2, 1 all divided by alpha 1, 1 plus alpha 2, 2 alpha 1, 1 plus alpha 2, 2 minus alpha 1, 2 plus alpha 2, 1. Let's substitute the values. Alpha 2, 2 is 4 minus sign according to formula alpha 2 1 is minus 6 upon alpha 1 1 is 8 plus sign according to formula alpha 2 2 is 4 minus sign according to formula alpha 1 2 that is minus 7 plus sign according to formula alpha 2 1 that is minus 6 let's simplify 4 minus minus 6 means 4 plus 6 8 plus 4 as it is, minus, minus 7 plus 6 is equal to, minus 7 minus 6. So it is 10 upon 12 plus 13. Because minus 6 minus 7 will be minus 13 into minus sign will be positive 13. So it is 10 by 25. x equals to 10 by 25 means 2 by 5. And 1 minus x will be, 1 minus 2 by 5, that is 3 by 5. This is the same case as we have already discussed by taking the algebraic method. I have deliberately taken the same case because we can compare the results. x 2 by 5, probability of A using strategy A1 comes to 2 by 5 and probability of A2 comes to 3 by 5. The interpretation is a should use strategies A1 and A2 in the ratio of 2 is to 3, that is 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 in the long run in random manner. Now, why? That is the formula that B uses strategy B1. The formula of Y is alpha 2, 2 minus alpha 2, 1, alpha 2, 2, 4 minus alpha 2, 1 minus 7 upon alpha 1, 1, 8 plus alpha 2, 2, the same denominator is there. Alpha 1, 2, minus 7, plus minus 6, that is 4 plus 7 upon 12 plus 13. So it is 11 by 25. Y comes to 11 by 25. So 1 minus Y comes to 14 by 25. 11 is to 14. The ratio comes. The interpretation is B should use strategies B1 and B2 in the ratio of 11 is to 14. That is 11 by 25 and 14 by 25 in random manner. And the value of gain will be the formula is alpha 1 1 into alpha 2 2. This is multiplication. Minus alpha 1 2 into alpha 2 1. Alpha 1 1 into alpha 1 2. This is something like cross multiplication. So, I mean, difference, cross difference of multiplications. Let us substitute the values. 
alpha 1 1 into alpha 2 2 8 into 4 minus alpha 1 2 minus 7 into alpha 2 1 minus 6 denominator is same alpha 1 1 8 plus alpha 2 2 4 minus sine alpha 1 2 minus 7 plus alpha 2 1 minus 6 so it is 8 into 432 minus minus 7 into minus 6 42 minus 42 upon 8 plus 4 12 minus minus 7 minus 6 minus 30 so ultimately it comes to minus 10 upon 25 so value of game is minus 2 by 5 as I told this is the same case as we had discussed in the algebraic method compare it with that uh, the say results of that case x equals to 2 by 5 the same was there y equals to 11 by 25 same was there value of game was minus 2 by 5 if we calculate the expected payoff of a as well as b in the same way as we had calculated in this case that will come minus 2 by 5 for a minus 2 by 5 is loss for b loss minus 2 by 5 becomes the gain so ultimately we can conclude that a should play strategies a1 and a2 in the ratio of 2 is to 3 in random manner similarly b should play the strategies b1 and b2 in the ratio of 11 is to 14 in random manner so that the value of the game will be minus 2 by 5 minus 2 by 5 for a becomes the loss in long run and minus 2 by 5 becomes gain for b in the long run i hope you can understand the thing again i tried to make both the methods as easy as possible that's it thank you very much